Hello everyone and thank you for watching. This is Hadrian. Let's play some more Total War Attila in our Crown of Charlemagne series. So, some interesting things are happening. We just got an event notification that we will get a dilemma in a few turns because Carloman has died. Let's have a look at that. So, oh, interesting. So, this is their regent. This is Luitgard. Um, and the the leader is actually uh, Carloman's son, Pepin. But there are apparently a lot of people who would prefer, like a a. Uh, uh, the, the event told us that they would prefer a non-military kind of unison of France, which I don't have a problem with. Um, what I'm also liking is that uh, our brother's territory is getting carved up to the south by the Lombardians and some additional rebel factions like the Burgundians here. So I'm hoping to be able to sweep in, take Geneva, take Lyon, and it looks like. Uh, our Vernus is under siege as well. So our brother's just not doing a very good job of defending himself, and we're going to step in and do it for him sooner than later. But for now, let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, wait. Odo, our priest. Where where are you, Odo? You're here. Okay, so he's currently improving public order. Tell you what, let's bring you... Let's move you. I want you down here. I want you improving public order where you're needed. <laughs> uh, but we are going to Let's see what we can do here. Encourage descent action, minus five public order. Cool. Ooh, spread religion action. I'm going to go ahead and give him both points on that. So he can now spread religion, which will help convert some of these non-Christian areas. Which there aren't too many at the moment, but he can help convert some of them. Alright, now let's go ahead and end the turn. I'm excited to see what this dilemma is going to be. So we're probably going to have a few turns here of map management, where we're looking through and kind of... Oh, okay. Ah, it looks like... You see what just happened there? It looks like Carloman fought back against an advance from the Lombardians, and now I don't see a Lombardian army there. That's fantastic. All right, here it is. The tension all around the realm is palpable. It's time for you to decide your course of action. Uh, we don't have enough money to do one of the options. By bankrolling the separatists, we will acquire some of the lands they have captured thus far. Interesting. All right, so we can claim his lands, and that will, and they will maybe make an attack on us. We can support the sun, uh, and, and so that is bound to generate a great deal of goodwill between your two factions. Carloman's faction will be extremely favorable favorable towards you in the future. We can do nothing. I don't think it is wise to claim his lands right now. We're not in a military position to march in and and do that kind of damage. I mean, we, we are and we aren't. And uh, the Lombardians are already kind of on the warpath, and I, I kind of want to decapitate them a bit um, before I think about attacking my brother and his territory. So we can support the sun... And they could very well continue to take his land. I think this is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to support the sun. Because we're going we're gonna to have that territory eventually anyway. And I think... I don't know. I just think public order is going to decay in this area. Right, so we're moving this agent down. Okay, perfect. So now we can start to move this army toward Geneva, which is what we're going to do. Alright, so they're going to fortify just outside of Basel. Alright, so this army probably doesn't need to be in Erfurt anymore. 
but we'll leave him there for another couple turns just because it'll help public order really kind of skyrocket. Same with this army in Osnabrück. I really want to move them. I want to do other things with those armies. But it's not the worst thing to keep them there. Let's see. Current sanitation is two. Okay. I could upgrade this, but this is the... That's really not a big boost. That's better, and it gives us more growth. Yeah. Do that instead. So we just upgraded our wine trader to provide us more growth and wealth from commerce. Let's also do some additional food from that area. So, looking good. Let's end our turn again. Oh, wait. Governor Edelhard. Extra taxes, please. And... We'll give you additional authority, because it looks like that's going to help with public order uh, in this area. Yep. So now we're in, public order is increasing by 9 because we gave them that ability. So now let's end the turn again. <clears throat> Duchy of Pamplona. That was the Duchy of Pamplona was. Interesting. Unoriginal sin. <laughs> look at look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right. The indiscretions of youth reveal themselves, Charlemagne, and now the father must pay for the sins of the child. Your daughter, whom you had thought beyond reproach and the victim of unfounded rumors, had revealed these rumors to be true. Your discovery of her with a local boy has sparked outrage. Her name is on everybody's lips and your reputation is at stake. You can silence these murmurings in one of two ways, by reprimanding her or by reprimanding the rumor mongers. Hmm. We can crack down on the daughter. We can crack down on the rumors. Both are tempting to me, but I think I'm going to crack down on the daughter because I'm, I just want to be an authoritarian king and say, you're the, the daughter of the king. You have responsibilities. I'm not trying to deny you uh, your, your love. It's more about just you should behave. So that's what we're doing. So we'll see how that affects things. <laughs> All right, let's unfortify here. Man, how do we get to Geneva? Oh, I see. There's a river here. That's the issue. Right, we're gonna speed march. We're just across the river there. I'm also gonna move this guy to be in Basel. This is, well, this guy. I'm going to move Charlemagne, the leader of our faction. This guy. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be there now. Also, I'm going to build this food market in Burberg. That'll help with wealth and growth. Oh, and I can do some additional building here, it seems. So, what can we do in Chart? That's right around the corner from our brother. So, it would be good, perhaps, to... Yeah, just in case things go down, I'm going to go ahead and build... Well, hang on. Let's have a look around. Perfect. I can't build a siege engineer in Angoli, but I can build one in, in Charge? That's weird. Oh, because of the governor. Okay. Well, in that case, what I'll do is I will build something else. Um, what are we going to do? I'm going to go ahead and build a muster hall. I still want this area here. Poitiers is one of our major settlements, um, military settlements. Oh, look, our brother's territory has been completely cut off now. This is good. This is very good. We don't have to, we can take it from him and we don't have to, um, well, the only bad thing is we don't have any armies in this area. So we could potentially have some losing battles on our hands soon, unless we do some recruiting. Hmm, that's not a bad idea, actually. Because our, let's go ahead and recruit an army in Poitiers and maybe try and stave off that from happening. Uh, we're gonna give this guy the general job. He's younger, and he is, uh, he he will give additional experience to melee combatants. All right. I don't like the idea of creating a quick army of levy. But I just, I want to have someone in the area. All right, we're going to put this guy in Poitiers. Good. Now he's there. 
Uh, yeah, it's not ideal. We don't have a lot of money to do this with. Okay, so at least those troops would be ready in one turn. And we'll recruit more next turn. End turn! We'll see what these guys do. This is, if I wasn't clear, this is what we're worried about. We have these, we have this faction that could potentially, they're at war with us, and they could potentially march up into our territory and start trying to take over some of our territory, because they've already been marching across my brothers. Why not? Yep, see, there they are. One of your subjects has recently become infatuated and wishes to marry his intended. Sure. Rampant piracy. Again, I don't have a ton of sea trades, so that is not a big deal to me. All right, let's continue to build. Don't you mean it is a great and glorious thing to serve Rome? <laughs> That's the line, right? Okay. So it's going to take a few turns to train up this army, and unfortunately we might lose a city in the process, but it's okay. We'll be able to hit back pretty soon. This army also is, is weak. So... Let's see what we can do here. Public order is improving in this area. I'm tempted to go ahead and start marching Charlemagne away from that area. What happens if I remove him? Ah, public order starts dropping. All right, I'm going to get it buffer a little bit more. Meanwhile, we have some armies up north that I can bring down. This army in Osnabrück. Please tell me. Dang it! Public order is dropping. It's terrible. Alright, well, that's a risk we're going to have to take. We need an army further south. We need help down here. So, one thing I will do, see if I can recruit an additional priest. Yes, I can recruit an additional priest. At what cost, though? Yeah, I don't have the money to do it. So next turn, we'll recruit a priest that will help build religious influence in this area. Religious differences are what's causing our public order problems. See, look, negative 14 there from religious differences. So we're going to try and do away with that. Our governor, governor where? Where is Fulrad? In Aachen? Cool. Has leveled up. So let's see. Additional cunning, and additional taxes. Alright. Next turn. Oh yeah, that's right. Alright, that's good. So the Muslims just offered us a non-aggression pact. The guy that we're going to deploy, he'll be able to help with public order to an extent. I don't know. Ah, dang it. Alright, we're going to auto-resolve this. So we're going to lose Angeline. This is that army that was marching across and taking our... and looking like they were going to take over territory. So they just did. That's unfortunate. Awesome! Attitude plus 120, 120 with the Kingdom of Carloman. Alright, so now these guys are really starting to branch out. I need to have an army ready to go. It's going to be two turns before this army is fully ready, but at least in one turn they might be ready to do some. I don't. I don't know. It's it's going to be rough, but we're just we're doing the best we can here. So up here, do, do we have a church? We do have church. So we're going to recruit feline reflexes, vengeance, progressive. Oh, cool. Okay, I definitely need to have. All right, check this out. Public order minus 20% penalty due to presence of other religions, local province. So he is exactly what we need in that province right now. See? Oh, wait, no. We need to move him up. So we'll move him in the next turn. At your service. At your command. All right, so we're going to keep marching this army towards March. Geneve. We hunger. And hopefully they'll be able to take it in the next turn or two. This army doesn't need to be in Erford anymore. I'm going to go ahead and move them down oh, to... See, public order suffering there now, too. I'm going to have to recruit a priest to hold down public order there. God 
these armies are just necessary for keeping people in line. It's weird. All right, so... This army is still marching down to the south. We have Charlemagne still in Basel. And we have this army building up in Poitiers. Hallstatt. We can upgrade Hallstatt. What can we do here? Wine market. Goldsmith. Can we do a goldsmith? Yes, we can do a goldsmith. I'm going to do a goldsmith. <laughs> That's a lot of extra wealth. That'll help. All right, let's end the turn. Uh, our invading friends. Oh, okay. The Muslims changed their mind. Very next turn. That's cute. Your armies would surely find. No. I don't want to be at war with anyone else right now. So Spoleto. Okay, good. They did not attack anyone. All right. Well, our war weariness has increased. That's not good at all. How can I serve you? We're going to move this guy up to Osnabrück. His presence will hopefully help. Yes. And we're also... We're going to recruit another agent. Strategist. Yeah, we're going to recruit this guy. And he's going to be in this area as well. So maybe now I'm going to fi finally start getting better. At uh, at all this, <laughs> at uh, at the whole game, no, at um, recruiting agents because that's been a weakness of mine. So up here, uh, let's go ahead and do a wine trader. Okay, so this army doesn't look like it's going to try and move anywhere. So we have one more turn, and this army is going to be ready to go. What do you wish of me? Ready, bling. We hunger for battle. All right, I'm going to fortify this army so they don't lose uh, any of their strength, and then hopefully we can move on Geneve uh, when spring rolls around, which is the very next turn. How much more room do I have, actually, for agents? That would be good to know. Okay, I'm at my limit. I can have a lot more armies, though. All right. So we're going to end the turn. We do not give gifts lightly. No. So they want a peace treaty because they know I'm about to attack them. And they can't defend. Glory. Nope. We're going to conquer them before long. Influence. Whoa, what? How? <laughs> That's stupid. Influence minus 50 for Charlemagne, control minus 10%. So the balance of power is now terrible. We are now weak. Oh, that's really dumb. I'm not happy with that. That's incredibly dumb. I guess I was thinking like a Crusader Kings player as opposed to a Total War player, but I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't like that very much. Okay. Oh, sweet. We can go ahead and march on Angolou. So let's do that. Give us our city back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here, and we'll jump right in to attack Angolim in the very next episode. Take this back from these jerks that took it from us. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.